Welcome back. Construction workers on pace to take home a larger paycheck than the average worker in the private sector. But the same study by the General Construction Association shows there aren't enough qualified workers to hire. Fox 13's Brian Jackson has more on a construction pre-apprenticeship program that's helping to fill that void. From 2022 to 2026, King, Pearson, and Snohomish counties are projected to have an annual demand of 600 construction workers. In this edition of Soul of the CD, I'm introducing you to a program that's building a pipeline of construction talent. I've been in construction for almost 27 years, and I learn something new every day. So I've been in school for 27 years in this field. Classes and sessions for students in the PAC program at Seattle Central College. PAC is short for Pre-Apprenticeship Construction Program. Over 11 weeks, students earn qualifications to enter a state-approved construction trade apprentice program. Today's lesson takes them to the construction site of a new apartment building in South Lake Union. Just so you guys know, the roof at this time of the job is the busiest portion of the entire job. We've spent a couple of years just to get to this point. The timeline is much shorter for these students to start earning over $30 an hour. I've been working like security jobs and stuff like that, so this next coming up month, I'm supposed to be making at least 34 an hour, so that, that's a pretty big difference from what I've been doing. I had a young man who just recently graduated about six months ago, and he was still kind of wavering about what he wanted to do, and really couldn't find a job that was paying anything to help pay his bills, and so he finally called me and said, hey, I'm about to give it a shot, and he went to the laborers union. Uh, they started him off at a great pay, and he called me crying, and 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 he's happy as can be. Yeah, and I'm 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 happy also. It's a part of the job that you have a quite a bit of work, but you have a very little you have very little time to get it completed. The PAC program is funded by the city of Seattle and is free to anyone 18 and up who has either a high school diploma or a GED. This opportunity is even available to those with a criminal record. Well, it gives them a chance to you know to you know make things right in their lives. You know, and say hey, just because I made a mistake, you know, my life isn't over, and you know I get a chance to first start and do something with my life. Can I get the elevators up to level 18, please? It changed since COVID. Prior to COVID, we would cram 40 people in there. Sardines. We'd sardine it. That's what we called it, sardining it. Those elevators are typically packed with men. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, women make up 14% of construction workers. The PAC program prepares women for how to face gender bias in hiring and harassment that is commonplace in the male-dominated field. Show these men up. That's what I say. Show them that we can compete, that we can do just as much as they do. There's going to be people that think because you're a woman, you can't carry this or you can't do that. And you just let them know. You like you stand in your confidence. You let them know, like, I got this job. I'm prepared to do what, you know, what I was hired to do. Let me do it. And is and my instructors tell me all the time, you're going to you're going to show them men. You're going to you're they're going to have so much respect for you because you're going to go out there. And you're going to do things that they had no idea that you were capable of. The PAC program runs four sessions a year. They enroll about 18 students per quarter and have a 74% graduation rate. And there's a weekly information session every Wednesday at 1 p.m. at the Wood Technology Center in the Central District. If you were to sign up, they have a day program and a night program available for those who work during the day.